Good morning, Whalers, and welcome to the WCPS News Network. My name is Marina Casano. And my name is Mr. G. Today is Tuesday, January 4th, 2022, and it is a shortened day six, thanks to that beautiful snow we got last night. Today's broadcast being brought to you by our good friends out at Island Variety at 59 Old South Road, who have what you need for that birthday celebration or holiday get-together. They got a great selection of puzzles, board games, Legos, Barbies, and craft kits. And also, don't forget about the Kodak kiosk for printing your photos and preserving your memories. Today for lunch, we'll be, we will have some delicious chicken Tuesday taco meat with brown rice. Happy birthdays go out to William Crowley, Ruby Muse, and me, Marina Cassano. Yeah, happy birthday, Marina! Woo, 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 woo. Also, our school resource officer, Miss Cassie Thompson, turns 21 years old today. For weather, we'll see partly sunny skies with temperatures barely reaching 32 degrees. Teachers, don't forget there will be a faculty meeting today at 2.50. Ms. Cutts wants to remind all Willy Wonka cast members to check their school G for the rehearsal schedule. Games Club and Jewelry Club will meet this Friday after school, and Book Club will meet today after school. Mr. G wants to remind all newscasters to check their email for the January schedule. I am so excited to see Willy Wonka. Hey, aren't you in that show? Yeah. Yeah, don't, what part do you play? Willy Wonka. You got the lead, Willy Wonka, right here, rock star. All right, in sports, tomorrow our CPS boys and girls basketball teams will play their season opening games against Mashpee. Good luck to all our student athletes. <clears throat> Last Saturday, the boys varsity hockey team had their first win against St. John Paul, 3-1. to one. Also, a college football rematch for the national championship game will be next Monday, January 10th, when number one, Alabama, will take on number two, the Georgia Bulldogs. Roll Tide Roll. And of course, last Sunday, the Patriots crushed the Jaguars by a score of 50 to 10, and they officially clinched a spot in the playoffs. Great job, Pats. Now for some vaccination information. According to the Cape Cod Times, the FDA has expanded the emergency use authorization of a booster dose of the Pfizer vaccine to include children ages ages 12 to 15. The booster is the same strength as the dose approved in the primary series. The CDC still has to sign off on the authorization, which is expected later this week. The FDA also authorized a third dose at least 28 days following the second dose for kids ages 5 to 11 who have a certain kind of immunocompromised conditions and reduced the time for a booster dose from six months to five for everyone 12 years of age and older. Get that booster. Don't be scared. All right, this is one of my favorite days. Today is National Spaghetti Day, which offers an opportunity to pick your sauce and add it to that long, thin, cylindrical pasta of Italian and Sicilian origin. Usually made from semolina flour, this pasta has been a worldwide favorite for ages and loved by millions. There are various pasta dishes based on spaghetti and the sauce determines most of them. Some examples include spaghetti alla carbonara, garlic and oil, tomato sauce, meat sauce, bolognese, alfredo sauce, and even clam sauce, so many other sauces. In, in addition, we traditionally serve spaghetti dishes topped with grated hard cheeses, such as Pecorino Romano, Parmigiano, and Grana Padano. Mm, love me some spaghetti. Okay, that's all the news for today. Please remember to wear your mask while in school and follow all of our COVID-19 protocols. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves and each other. And most importantly, be, be kind, kind to one, one another. another. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday. Woo!